What is up everyone, Mini Man here back with another video on the channel today. I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're all ready. Well, as you can see, we're playing Leicester first today on FC24 with the Norwich team, of course. Um, there's a lot of changes in the starting go, Evan. Um, we've kind of hit around the fixtures, which is a game every three days um, around the December, January time. So it's that, it's that time of year. Um, Fixtures coming thick and fast, so as you can see, quite a lot of changes. Adamida up top with Sargent, Springer and Signs on the wings, um, Nunez with Sarah in midfield, and then um, McCallum at left back, of course. But um, yeah, the, the main issue is the stamina, and I just. <laughs> it's going to be tough because some of these players are not first team quality, um, or at least in the game, like in 65 rate, right, 69 rate, right, just. Um, isn't really cutting it, especially against Leicester, but we're going to do our best, so let's get right into it. Leicester, as we well know, got a comfortable win last time out. We didn't play awfully against them, but they're just much better. And also, Mavadidi is the top scorer, and I'm pretty sure he did score against us at the King Power Stadium. So, it's going to be really tough to, to keep him at bay again. But um, I saw they're playing Jamie Vardy up top, who has got a bit of low stam as well, so... They'll probably hit a hot run of fixtures as well. Well, he's not tracking this runner. McCallum down the wing. He's going to keep going, McCallum. He's going to get He's going to get a cross opportunity. I'm going to cross it in. Oh, it's a good cross. Header. Oh, he saved it onto the crossbar. Oh, that was a chance out of nothing there. Running down the wing. I thought the cross, I couldn't even see anyone back post. And the keeper tips it onto the, the crossbar. All right, Jack Stacey. Now, there's a ev new evolution on Ultimate Team. And Jack Stacey... Um, Reaches the requirements to be able to do it, and he gets up to like 82 rated. So that's what I've been doing. Good save. Get that out. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. There's so many players in the field for them. Oh, it's lovely. McCallum, I think. Wow, really good. Don't want to force the shot and just the shot get blocked. Uh, oh, they're put, they're, it's so hard to get in the box. <laughs> oh, now they've, they've intercepted it. Oh, dear. Lovely. Right, 42 minutes. But we we haven't let them create much. It's because we've just tried to, been keep, to, keep, to keep the ball around the midfield. Nice, nice, nice ball. There's a chance here for us. Going to give it to Sergeant. Oh, no, Sergeant. <laughs> and it's it's not even a corner. Um, oh, that was a brilliant chance at the end. But um, what I should have done was there's another man next to Sergeant. Should have laid it off to him. But, um... Not the worst half. I'm trying to play a bit differently because I know if I just give the ball away too much, try and get too much play forward ourselves, I'm going to lose the ball a lot and Leicester are going to create a lot of chances. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to keep the ball and wait for the play to unfold, really. But yeah, this is what I mean. We haven't scored, but we haven't conceded. So the game plan is working. I do want a draw here. I don't realistically see us winning. See a man at the back. Boy, Sergeant's going to cross one in. Sergeant's going to get the header. Oh, it's just wide. That was that was quite far out for Sergeant to get the header on, but um, another shot. Oh my god! <laughs> just out of nothing, like they ping a ball, like they're quite far out, and <laughs> he goes in. But we've both hit the crossbar now, so um, I'm glad that hasn't gone in because that would have been a bit annoying. That's the goal. That's the goal. Yeah. That's the goal. You could just see it. As soon as Mavadidi passed it on the inside, it's so tough to, to do anything against Leicester. And they finally finally got a goal, but they haven't had too many sh chances. It's just just frustrating because I know as soon as they get the ball in that area, it's going to be so tough to defend. And it's, it's not even like they've done anything spectacular there. It's just simple stuff, but I just can't defend <laughs> in that position. Um, but oh well. 1-0 to Leicester. I'm not too bothered because it's Leicester. Um, and they're insane for them. We're not out of it. We know we can have a few shots. We've had a, like, three or four. Boy, back to Boyer Signs. And he did really well last time to get past this man. Let's see what he can do this, this time. Go on and give it to McCallum. He's definitely on side. On the inside. Sarah's going to let fly. Oh, is that the keeper? But again, good play. Good play against the Leicester team, who's top of the league. 70 minutes. And we've got another call here. Another good chance to get a whip delivery in. Sergeant's going to get that shortly. Oh, it's just over the bar. And this is why we need fast acts on the pitch. He's so good from the headers, but he's, he's not even on the bench. 
Oh, just didn't get enough height on the header, which is why he's hit it over the bar. Oh, that's brilliant through ball. But Vardy's got no stamina, and Angulo's going to cover. Okay, that's helpful. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, that would have been a bit annoying after I'd played quite decently. They've hit the post. <laughs> Lovely run from Sarah. Going to give it here to Tony Springer, who's going to run. Spring it versus Doyle. My money's on Spring it. Sergeant, this is the chance. Yes, come on. Sergeant, near post. Lovely stuff. Spring it gives it to someone in midfield who lays it through to Sergeant with a throw ball. And Sergeant salutes as we've made it 1 1. And I'm, I'm celebrating like it's a victory because this is one of the toughest matches on the calendar year against Leicester City, who are in insane form. Sargent plays it really well, waits for the ball, doesn't go offside, and he hits it near post with precision. Keeper can't do anything about it. And it's 1-1. Come on. 1-1. One, one. Well, they could have made it 2-0, but they hit the post, uh, which would have been a bit unfortunate for us because we actually have had a few shots. Lovely, lovely patient play. Finds Boy signs on the left. Going to give it at the edge of the box. Sam's going to let fly. Oh, just over the top. <laughs> the keeper was diving for that. I was like, where is this going? Um, well, I needed to get a bit closer, but it's just so hard to, to break through Leicester's defence. Nice. Cut on the inside. Go on, McCallum. Go on, McCallum. Oh, no, I can't keep it. I have to run all the way. I have to run forwards. Oh, we'll take that. 1-1. One, one. We were losing 1-0. We will take a draw against Leicester, especially because they hit the woodwork twice, although we did once at the start. But um, I think that's actually a fair result, because even though Leicester were very deadly when they got the ball in the box, we didn't let them create too many chances. Um, and a draw when they're top of the league and we're fighting for a playoff spot is just really ideal. Um, but we might actually slip out of the playoff spots because there's a lot of teams around us and we obviously didn't win the match. So we might drop down to like 7th potentially, or 8th even. Alright, so I, I forgot to say, um, Nottingham Forest should call Twang um, because he didn't get enough game time. And then I, what I did is just, because now we're in the January three transfer window, I just loaned him out again and it worked. So that's always fun. And I also, I also loaned out another striker, so I've got a ton of strikers. I did also try to um, loan a right back and I tried three different players who looked really good and none of them wanted to be loaned so I then just gave up. Um, so we'll cope, we'll be fun. Yeah, here's the other, the, the other player from Nice. Gessand, is that you say his name? Um, but yeah, he's a, he's a striker. Okay, it, it, what, what I said might happen has happened. Despite our drill... Um, We've dropped down to 8th. So I think we've gone from 5th to 8th. Um, even though we haven't lost. Because there's just so many teams around us on similar points. And look how dangerous it is. Look. We're only 4 points ahead of 14th now. Even Hull. Like, it's just like there's a massive gap between 16th and 17th. But basically every team is properly close to us. But then we're also 3 points away from being in 4th. So it's just like... <laughs> you just don't even know at this point. Okay, so um, we're actually going to give it a go against Burnley because we haven't got another match for a week. Um, so stamina should not be an issue after this. Only changes were made to the starting 11 and putting Hanley at centre back and the new man Gessand up top um, to see what he's all about. You know, 71 rated. I've only got him on loan. I think I've actually got him on loan to buy as well. So um, we'll, we'll see how, how good he plays. And um, he's quite a young player as well. I think he's only 22, so maybe one for the future. Depends if I um, sign him after what, what, what he provides here um, at the end of this season. Burnley should be more difficult, although cup fixtures tend to be a bit easier. When we played Everton, it seemed a bit easier, even though we um, well we lost the penalties in that one. Oh, so no, he's physical. Shove him away from the ball. I was like that Gareth Bale run down the wing when he get when he got that goal. Was it against Bar was it against Barcelona that one? Where he just gets kind of shoved off the pitch and he still beats his man. I don't even consider that as a foul. Like, he's shoved him, but, like, his physical ability to just get the ball. Oh, that was a brilliant delivery from really far out. Wow. Um, but Angus Gunn makes a save. Let's see that again. Blimey neck. He was... How the heck did he get the ball perfectly there? 
Well, that's right, Angus Gunn's done his job. Right. Oh. Oh! Lovely volley from the lad, to be fair. I should have got the ball with a head. I don't know what happens here. Actually, no, he didn't even go for the header. I think it's guess and again. <laughs> Not doing too well, but company. Definitely on top with his team so far. What are Burnley doing? They're making a... Well, they're doing that. Making a couple of mistakes. I can't do anything there, though. Get the ball. I cannot react in time to pass it. Just one of those things. He's offside, surely. Oh, I thought that was going to be an own goal then. <laughs> that deflection. Oh, dear. Right, Burnley. Very dangerous with the shooting. That's what we all say. They've been a bit off on the putt. <laughs> that's exactly what I mean. Deadly with the shooting, and that's a header from not too close, and it's worked Angus Gunn. They've probably got a, some second team players in. Oh, it's a lovely header from Hanley, and it's a lovely turn from Sarah. Has he got the pace to get away? And the other centre back, who was further back, has just decided to stand still. Sarah's going to get a shot here. Gabriel Sarah. It's 1 0. Gabriel Sarah. Hanley's header from the corner. Absolutely brilliant. Gives it to Sarah. Lovely turn. And the Burnley defence have just um, gone to sleep because there was a man standing still. Um, I don't know I don't know why he's, why he's standing still, that number 14 there. He kind of just forgot what his role was on the pitch. And um, let's Gabriel Sarah have the shot, and we've scored. Uh, and I probably don't sound too excited, to be honest, because I'd rather have the goals against, well, in the, in the championship, when it gets to the Premier League, because I know we're not going to win the cup. <laughs> but, I mean, 1-0 against Burnley. We like to say it. We like to say it. But nearly half time. This half has felt like it's gone on for ages. I think it's because they we're just applying so much pressure on and taking a lot of concentration to try and keep them away. It's, it's a lovely. How? Come on now. Okay. Well, it's a lovely tangle from McLean, but of course he stumbles back into the ball and gets a shot off there. Um, but Burnley will be having the last chance of the half here. Yeah, he's never going to score there. Lovely stuff. Um, well, at half-time, we're winning against Burnley. You have to say, like, I think Burnley probably deserved to be at least drawing against us. It probably could be winning, to be honest. Had the, the better chances, but their shots haven't been from too close, most of them. And, well, we've defended okay. We've just been a bit unlucky with some of the play they've got forwards as well. To give to the strikers enough, really. Lovely ball. Demi. Lovely, lovely stuff. Dakar needs to take a good touch. This is what I'm talking about. Run down the middle. Dakar, it's 2 0. We don't deserve it in any way. But we've absolutely um, fired away two lovely finishes by our very clinical. And Dakar this time. I was saying this at half time or just after. We made these runs down the left and right. So, I don't think their defence... It's like um, when we played, was it Southampton? And their defence was awful. They just don't know what they're doing. And I've got to run down the middle this time. And it's, it's worked a delight. Dak has actually fired it past the keeper. He should never save that, and he hasn't. And it's now 2-0 against Burnley. Well, we've got a bit of leeway now. We can, we can afford to concede one. Potentially beating a Premier League team. Well, Johnny Rose in the right spot. I did put him there. Like, we were actually playing quite well. They're making some mistakes as well. Dak has kept the ball. Going to give it to Johnny Rowe because he's just been delightful to watch down this left-hand side. He's starting to be really good because um, he's now 71 rated. He feels really nice to dribble with. Hold the, hold the defence. Oh, that's the goal. 20 minutes left. And Burnley finally string a pass through in the middle. And we were defending so well there. But as soon as you get that one ball through, um, that is a goal. <laughs> Let's watch that again. One through ball. Defence. It's just that I'm not controlling them and they just stand there. That's the most annoying part about this game. Like, they don't actually actively try and do anything. You kind of have to tell them to do something with the tactics, which is the most annoying part. Like, I just wish they would, wouldn't happen. Oh, I didn't even realise Nathan Redmond's has scored. <laughs> I didn't even clock that. He's blooming celebrated it and all. Absolute. You know, that screen that's at Norwich City, that's Nathan Redmond money. I'm pretty sure. Oh, lovely ball. Johnny Rowe, go. Have a go, Johnny Rowe. Run past your man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Daka. Oh, he's hard to add the sell out the keeper, but another shot. We've been really good this half. Oh, we're stolen it back. Sarah. Daka. I could have given it to Johnny Rowe. Oh, I should have given it to Johnny Rowe. He could have fired it uh, to the right side of the net if I gave it to Johnny Rowe. It's okay. We're still winning. And there's six minutes left to hold on. And we've got a corner. Cross one in. Going to get the header. It's against the crossbar. Can we get the secondary header? No. Rebounds. Not there for us. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. No. It's Angulo again. That's the second time that's happened this season. <laughs> Oh, we're so close. Oh, no. Oh, I don't want to replay. I don't want to have to replay Burnley. It's the FA Cup, isn't it? I don't want to have to replay them. It's so, it's so dull. Oh, my gosh. We're so close. But yet so far. And it's Angulo again. Twice his height has absolutely screwed me. He cannot jump high enough <laughs> to get the ball. Oh, so frustrating. Right, I'm going to sub Boy Signs on, actually. Because he wanted to play before the match. Go on, Daka. Oh, come on, man. How have you messed up that much? You're a striker, lad. That was a brilliant position for the shot. And lovely first touch from him. Takes it a bit on the inside and messes it up. That's going to be full time. It's so annoying. I don't want to play Burnley again. It's so, so dead. Because I know we're going to go out of the cup at some point anyway. Well, we are 2-0 up, and Burnley have managed to make it a draw, which means, I think, extra time. No, it means um, another match. That's what I meant. <laughs> so annoying. We'll, we'll use the second team against Burnley next time. I really can't be bothered. I don't really care about the, the, the cup, to be honest. <laughs> um, of course, we beat Hull 3-2, as you can see here, one in one of the first matches of the season. It might have been in the first video, to be honest. So, oh no, it's the start of the second video. I remember now. Uh, not bad form. They have lost their last match, but two wins, two draws in there as well in the last five. Pretty good. Um, quite an attacking setup as well. You've got the two wingers, a striker and, and a cam, really. All right, so back to using the whole of the first team here against Hull. We need all the points we can get in the league, of course, because it's very congested um, between like 10 teams, basically, <laughs> at the moment. Even more than that, probably. Or like 11 or 12. I think I've got used to how the matches start now. I didn't really like it at the start, but it's not that bad, actually. It's still really nice to see. Go on, Johnny Rowe. Lo oh, go on, the 1-2. Oh, it's beautiful, Johnny Rowe. Gives the pass away at the best moment. To have the shot, lads. Oh, blow my neck. I thought I'd have the shot. I know it's not the best position, but there's not really anything on. Because no one's run with Johnny Rowe, because he's absolutely insane. Lovely. I, I saw that pass. And Sarah's managed to get a foot in. Lovely. Gabriel Sarah. Sarah with the shot. Sarah. Oh, I celebrate. I nearly celebrate. <laughs> it's just gone the wrong side of the post. How close is this? It's not even that close. I just thought it was definitely going bottom right hand corner. But clearly not. Um, but good, good start. Good start. Oh, it's bad. Bad defending. Ah. Uh... Oh, Angus Gunn. Bad defending with Jack Stacey I was using. And I just, let, I just invited pressure there. Got Gets the ball on the inside. Angus Gunn in the right position, though. Good save. Uh, oh, God. Oh, oh, Angus Gunn's been marked again. Okay, so we started well. And now Huller, Huller actually doing something. Um, we need to be careful. On the inside. Oh, there's a man right in front of... I wasn't even trying to pass it there. Turn it around. Give it to Dimmy. Ball into Sarge. Oh, just couldn't get it again. With Sarge. Surely. Yes, come on. Another ball into the middle. We've, we've, we've created so many chances. Or balls into the box, I should say more. Um, and Sargent just couldn't get the touches. He, he's... Had two crosses before that and just couldn't get ahead of his man. But this time he has, um, in a good position, just c takes control of the ball and smashes it towards the left-hand side of the net. And it's 1-0. I think you could say it's deserved, even though Hull have created a few chances as well. But we've just, well, we've created even more, to be honest. Um, and we made it 1-0 here at the MKM Stadium. 
McLean's got over his man. Give it back to Johnny Rowe again. Oh, Johnny Rowe. He's played well, but he just loses the ball a couple of times. He just doesn't get out of his feet quick enough sometimes, which is weird because a lot of the times he does run forwards and get out of his feet quite quickly. But So, I mean, look at that. That's exactly what I mean. That is the definition of how good Johnny Rowe is. <laughs> he gets the ball with this bad touch and gone. Oh, God. Oh, what a save. That's brilliant. Blimey neck. Holler. Pony. Jo well, Johnny Rose there again. <laughs> right. Can't keep it. That should be half time if he blows. There we go. Half time. 1 0. Played really well. Created a lot of chances themselves. But Hull, as soon as they get the ball forward, are, are being really, really good up top. So we've got to be careful. I mean, I did say this before the match. Hull have a very uh, attacking setup with the um, two wingers, Striker and Cam. So very, very dangerous. McLean's going to let fly. Why not? Oh, deflected. Nearly gone in. That was gag had gone anywhere. Um, and we have a corner. Now, fast acts on the pitch for the first time today with the corner. Sarah's delivery. Not going to get that, surely. Oh, he, he blooming did get it. Oh, look at, I don't even know what's going on there. Nice. Good interceptions. Just taking a long time to get it. It's really quite stressful trying to get the ball <laughs> Oh, beautiful ball to fast act. It's perfect. Let's try and give it back post. We can. Dimmy. Good. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful play. Dak is... Was it Dak is cross? I think it was. Who scored it? Is it Johnny Rowe? I bet it is. It's Johnny Rowe. Johnny Rowe's been brilliant today. And as soon as we give it back to the left-hand side of the pitch, we've, we've been kind of keeping it with Jack Stacey fast act a lot. But as soon as we give it to Dimmy, lovely cross. Good control. Lays it in towards Johnny Rowe. And look at this. Lovely ball control. Gives it to Johnny Rowe. Smashes it. And it's 2-0. Brilliant stuff. Was it? I, th I think it was Dakar's cross as well. It was brilliant. It went exactly where I wanted it. And 2-0. Well, we've, we've kind of soaked up all the pressure from Hull as well. So it's really nice to see. <laughs> it's kind of blocked me off. And I'm like, hello? Oh! <laughs> We're getting a little bit lucky, but that's what you need when we have won in ages. When was the last time we won a match? I honestly can't. We didn't win in the last video. Um, I can't remember, to be honest. Lovely ball to fast act. Going to give it to Daka. Daka's going to absolutely smash it. Oh, the keeper nearly parried it to Johnny Rowe again. I say again. Not again. Going to give it to Johnny Rowe. He's been brilliant this match. Probably my man of the match, to be honest. Although, saying that, he's made a lot of mistakes. I think it's going to be a win. It's a much-needed win against the team well around us, as half the teams are. Cross one in. Two near the keeper. It's fine. Two minutes left of this added time. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful win. It's been a long time coming. We haven't won in a couple of videos, I don't think. Um, and as soon as we get... Look, that's what I mean. As soon as we've got past those hot run of fixtures with the likes of Leeds, Southampton, Leicester and Burnley. I mean, we've got to play them again, yes. But we've got the win against Hull. And it's a big win because that might put us back in a playoff spot after we dropped out due to dropping points against Leicester. But, I mean, it's against Leicester, so what do we expect? All right, so um, despite the fact we dropped down to eighth after Leicester result, um, we've bounced back up to fifth. So, um four points from the two championship fixtures today is really nice because we played against Leicester. I mean, on another day, they would have thrashed us, but t today we managed to get a draw, which is really good. Um, on 45 points, obviously three teams here also on 45 points. Um, somewhat close to, to Swansea and Watford, but uh, yeah, Leeds just pulling away. You just can't, you can't see automatic promotion still as a, as a feasible solution. Um, I don't think it's going to happen, to be honest, but um, I think our main focus towards the end of the season here is going to be grinding out good results to get a playoff spot. I, I just don't think... I think that's probably the best way to, to go about it because I just can't see us getting top two at this point um, because we're 14 points behind Leeds. Um, but a good day, good defending against Burnley and probably Leicester. Different style of play, especially against that Leicester match where I just try to control possession and create chances instead of kind of trying to fire balls through the middle and down the wings and lose it in 
well, we we did, we, just, we lost it a few times, but um, obviously against Hull, then I was a bit more reckless with trying to get balls through, um, and it worked. We got the win, two nil. Bit bad defending against Hull, I will say, but it doesn't matter because we we got the clean sheet and and uh, three points. Um, but yeah, another another day of difficult results, difficult matches. Hopefully it's going to let off in the in the next one, although we've got to play Burnley again. But um, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day. This will be Minigaman is signing off. And peace.